don't want to do this. It's embarrassing. Well, then take it out of my contract. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, well, I'll be honest. I'm not quite sure there's too much more to say other than the fact that we're a terrible football team. But uh, do we have any questions? Ernest Topbottom, local reporter. Now, team ain't scored goal in league for over a month. Why is this? No, don't know, mate. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I don't know, mate. You know, we create chances, we work on finishing and training, and if we could hit the back of the net half as often as we hit the post, we'd friggin' well be in Europe. Now, you're not one game in league in nine. Is this going to change? Well, I bloody hope so, mate. But uh, if I'm being honest with you, I'd settle for just scoring a goal. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 2, Episode 8 here at Sheffield Wednesday as we look to win the Champions League with the club for the first time. And that seems so far away now, it's untrue, because we are... We are struggling, we are fighting, we are scrapping, and we're doing it very, very poorly trying to stay in this division. Um, but the good news in terms of <laughs> our long-term uh, future at the club is that the board is still relatively happy with what we're doing. They don't like that we're not playing attacking football. Um, I don't think they're watching the games. We can't score a goal to save ourselves. Um, and uh, well, they're unha uh, unhappy with the signing of under-23 players. It's something, and if you've watched my series before, I do tend to do this anyway, uh, it's just been a case this season of trying to get any sort of quality in that is near Premier League standard. Um, so that's probably the main reason we haven't done that, but it's only a favoured thing anyway, so it's not uh, not the end of the world. But you can see on the field we have done more than enough, uh, which is which is fine, and everything is, is going not too bad. And you can see the financial damage repaired. Uh, we are into the profit now. As you would hope, with, uh, with Premier League money, you would be able to get yourself out of debt. So we've done that. That's a big positive. Um, so, yeah, excellent, excellent news there. We've got a little bit of transfer budget. You can see next season's transfer budget right now, 14 million. That is not <laughs> not a lot. But we've scrapped so far with what we've with nothing. So we'll just keep doing our best and see where that uh, see where that takes us. Now, one other bit of news on the injury front. If we go into the medical center here, we will see that Mas Luongo has added himself to the injury list. A damaged heel. Uh, he's been out. It's about a two-week injury at the time. Now, it's not the end of the world. He, I mean, no one's been playing well for us, but uh, it's not the end of the world in that he's not like a crucial player, but he is someone that can play a couple of different positions for us. And so that makes it um, a limiting injury. It certainly limits our options off the bench. Uh, so there we go. That is that. Now, there are two games to catch you up on. So I should say this episode we're playing, well, it's two games that, again, you feel like we have to take maybe four points from. Wolverhampton away, but then we host Southampton, who are just above us in the league, and unfortunately for us, in a good spell of form as well. Um, so yeah, we've got two huge games coming up today again in this uh, relegation battle that uh, is going average at best. Now, there's, there's two games to catch you up on, one in the league, one in the FA Cup. We'll start with the league game against Brighton. So no goals, but we did manage to get a point, a nil-nil draw that, to be honest, you can see from XG, I actually thought we shaded the game, and I'm really disappointed we didn't manage to win, because it would have been a massive, massive win. In terms of the team selection, I just went for guys that have sort of been playing better. So Finley got a game, did okay. I offer in the center, at center back did okay, so Matheson could play down the right, and he did okay. Carmo we used as just an out-and-out defensive midfielder, pushed Tenali a little bit further forward, and... Other than Penny at left back there, it was a, a much, much better performance from us. So that is, well, that's a positive sign, isn't it? Um, so we'll take that a, extra point in our quest for survival. You can see from XG, we were just on top the whole game. We just couldn't find the back of the net. Uh, next game to catch you up on, the last game to catch you up on was our FA Cup fifth round tie against Wolves. Of course, we played them. We had a double header against them in Cup and League. This was the first leg again in the Cup. And, uh, well, let's see how we did. We went behind early when Jao Martinho bent one in. Marcondes played in Tete to have his level at half time. Before Wolves got the winner early in the second half. So the good news is we scored a goal. The bad news is that it wasn't in the league and we lost anyway. Giammatino with a double for Wolves. Uh, you can see very much a rotated side. We went back to wingers. Um, and, well, it didn't really work, did it? Gustavo Meyer has not settled as I would have liked. I tried reach, maybe <laughs> the reason we got promoted last year was him and his goals out there on the left side. He didn't do anything. Marcondes and Tete combined well for a goal, but that was pretty much it. So FA Cup is done, and to be honest, I'm okay with it. 
Um, I mean, look at that. We haven't scored a goal in all of February. We haven't won a game since Leeds United up here at the end of December. The game in the league, I should say. Um, it is... It's it's not going well. It really isn't. This is the toughest I think I've ever had in terms of a season on FM, certainly in a long, long time. Um, we do still have our heads just above water. Uh, Wolves, of course, are there. We can see them. Southampton are just above us. They've got a little bit of a gap. So maybe, you know, these teams are, feel like they're safe from relegation with 10 to play. Maybe we can catch them cold and, uh, and see what we can do there. Um, in terms of team dynamics, it's not too bad. The team cohesion is average. We're working on that. We're trying to get the atmosphere back up. But to be honest, we need to win a game um, to get that going again. Managerial support is still excellent. And if we look at uh, team morale, team morale is not actually, if we go to this, even just the, in order of starting, it's not actually that bad. I've been doing everything I can to try and keep morale up. And it's it's not bad. No one is really sulking. Um, you know, but look at these average match ratings. Look at them. I mean... I mean, some of these some of these guys here that aren't playing, these are match ratings from the reserves. But, well, maybe if we go back to the starting 11. And this is me trying to pick the guys that are in form. Look at Matt Penny. Look at Tenali. Where's Tenali? 6.48. And he's supposed to be one of, our, the, one of the better players in the league. I just cannot get anything from this team. And I, I don't understand why that is. But anyway, we're playing uh, Wolves in the league first up. Let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here. We're away from home. The teams around us, or uh, well, certainly below us, Southampton are playing Manchester United. Hopefully they get a spanking and their morale's down from when they play us. Uh, Watford is away to Manchester City. Likewise, you would hope that uh, that Watford would get a bit of a hiding. Um, Newcastle and West Ham are not playing this day. So we have a chance to you know move a little bit further above them. Away from home, it's one of these where you just about take a point. Um, you can see we've made a number of changes from the team that played in, against them in the league. And this is the team we're sending out. Um, I do, I, and I am a little bit concerned that some of our problem is just me chopping and changing so much. And there's a part of me that thinks maybe I just need to pick what I think is my best team and stick with it. And there's an element of me doing that here, to be honest. So it's Dawson in goal. It's Carmo and Worrell at the back. They both, well, they are two best defenders. Worrell's not been playing too bad. Carmo is, well, one of our better players. We have to play Aorfa out on the right. Uh, the reason for that, of course, is Matheson is on loan from Wolves, so we can't play him against his parent club. And that's a bit of a shame. I would have liked to have had maybe Carmo and Aorfa, or Aorfa and Worrell and move Carmo forward. But anyway, this is the hand we've been dealt. So it's going to be Aorfa and Penny down the wings. I mean, Penny's been bad. Greg Taylor's been just as bad. So we'll go with Penny for this one. Tenali, please, mate, play well in this one. Bosayed and Marcondes, he he did well in that cup game. So we'll give him another chance in the league here, see how he does. Hannibal's going to be playing in behind Patterson and Shankland. Um, uh, they're both in good morale. They both have... Uh, just please, boys, come on. So we can see the lineups there. Um, both teams, I mean, they're a good team on paper, aren't they? But uh, we'll see how we go here. No one expects us to get a result. Enjoy that playing any pressure on you. Um... Uh, all right, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, I do feel like a little bit of, of our struggles is just... Um, it's just a little bit of a case of just being disjointed. I, You know, we haven't got a settled team. We haven't got a settled... You know, we've been bringing players in and out all season long. You know, what I haven't done is change the marking assignments. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of... We, we've, I've, and it, is, it is purely down to my fault, and it's, it's also, it's just the reason that it's happened the way that it's happened here, is that oh, you're marking left, and I put you on right, didn't I? Um, I need to concentrate on what. No, I put you on left. So you know that's right. You want left, Shanklin. You're on the left, so you've got to mark the right back. That would have been bad. Um, yeah, just the fact that we got promoted. I think before we should have. We didn't have any sort of scouting network set up, so. We did well, you know, there was no real players that I was able to go and sign. These are all my excuses. I'm just getting them ready for when we get relegated. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's, I've had a really, really, it's two tomatoes. I didn't know there was a two tomatoes in world football. Uh, yeah, we've just had a really, really tough time just trying to find our best 11. We've had some injuries at the wrong times that haven't helped. And I don't understand why the likes of Tenali, we're just getting nothing out of them. Here we go with Penny. This is a decent chance from a free kick. Please bend this in, Maddie. 
It's good. It's good that it's in. And Matt Penny has his first of the season. And we've taken a lead away to Wolverhampton in the 34th minute. Matt Penny, take a bow, mate. That could be huge. Now, can we defend? It's a stunning free kick from Matt Penny. It's a, oh, it's a goal of the season contender. Round the wall, just right in that top corner where the owls sleep or whatever they say in, uh, in the US. And, oh, no. No, 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 no. Away, boys. Away, away. It is away. Now, can we go and... Oh, we can get to that. Bo Saeed's there. Shanklin's with him. Bo Saeed. What can he do? Shanklin is with him. Shanklin is in. Can Shanklin double our lead? Shanklin, no. Come on, boys. Come on. Shanklin, no. It's blocked away. And... Well, this is... This is nice, isn't it? Can we get the half time with a lead? And we can. All right. We've scored our first league goal in over a month. We have absolutely no right to... Oh, they would be annoyed, wouldn't they, Wolverhampton? Um, all right. I'm happy. I think we have to say don't get complacent, don't we? I mean, I'm happy we're in front. I don't think we can be overly happy with the performance. I mean, we're being absolutely spanked when it comes to XG. We've got faith in you all. Marcondes is looking nervous, mate. You're lucky to be on the field. You're only playing because you got an assist in the cup game. <laughs> All right, come on, boys. If we can defend properly here. If we can defend properly here. Uh, Martinho's on, of course, the killer of us in the cup game. If we can defend properly here, we've got ourselves a massive three points. Away, 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 away. Oh, it's from a corner as well. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh, we'll encourage them. And, I mean, we've lost out the near post. Penny, yeah, could he have done a little bit better there? And he's now injured. All right, well, Taylor comes on. Hopefully, he'll do a decent job. Um, outstretched arms. We, there's no pressure on you today. All right, well, let's just go with that. Um... I mean, could we dare dream of a second goal? I mean, that is being a little bit cheeky, isn't it? We haven't, we've barely scored all season to get two in a game. We've only had one shot. <laughs> we're so bad. We really, really are bad. Um, all right. So let's say that Mark Condes, where is he here, is not particularly working out. Um, let's get Deli Bashiru on for him. Um, Shankland, again, is not having a good game. Patterson's tired and on a booking. So let's get Tete on for him. That's two subs. We've got a throw. Is it too ambitious to think that maybe we're going to have a highlight here? Hannibal and Taylor exchanging passes. Can Taylor, he gets down the outside of Neves. Can he get a cross in now? He can. Back post. Tete's there. It was down towards Shanklin. Worrell should pick that up to Bo Saeed out there to Ayorfa. Come on, boys. Come on, Ayorfa. Get a bit of quality in the box for us. Where's Tete? He's lurking. Cross in. Too close to the goalkeeper, and that was surely not the highlight. Are we going to get sucker punched? There's the ball forward. No, we've picked it up with Tenali. Tenali, quick ball for Tete. Tete for Hannibal. Deli Bashiru's there. Bosey picks it up. Shankland. Shankland to Hannibal. To Deli. Oh, we've hit the friggin' woodwork again. How many times? Unbelievable. More encouragement, boys. Come on. We've had a second shot on goal and it arguably should have gone in the back of the net. Well, I was trying passing into space and working the ball into the box. Let's maybe get rid of that and see if that helps us at all. Uh, got to unpause it if we want to see some game time. All right, come on. Another throw. Taylor gets it forward for Shanklin. Tackled away, but only as far as Hannibal. Hannibal, Shanklin. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I offers there. Get a block in. Come on, boys. Don't go and lose this, please. We need this point. We need this point. Carmo with a really good tackle late on there. Another corner. Please defend this one properly. Oh, it is. It's away by Hannibal. Shanklin goes to pick it up. Can't get there. Let's give them some more encouragement. Tete's looking nervous. Five minutes of stoppage time to play. This would be a nice point on the road. Oh, we haven't got it yet. We haven't got it yet. Carmo's there. Heads it away. Oh, Hannibal, come on, mate. Win this ball back for me, please, somebody. We can't we can't lose in stoppage time. It would, I think it would break my heart. I'm not sure if I can come back from this. Ball in. No! Oh, 
I mean, what have we got to do? Worrell has just not gone with his man, has he? Demand more, boys. Come on. <sighs> Tanali again is shit. I don't understand what's wrong with him. I Unlucky boys. So youthful Sheffield Wednesday come unstuck. Penny is out for a little bit of time. Um, Ten games without a win. Oh, and we should have had a point there. And that would have been a massive point as well. Well, guys, wait right there. We've got Southampton at home next. Surely, surely we can win that one. Okay, welcome back. We're getting ready to host Southampton and we start with some bad news. That is that David Camo, our centre-back, who we spent a lot of money on trying to make sure he keeps us up, has injured himself and it's a month. Uh, lifting weights, what a stupid way to injure yourself as well. Um, and just to compound that, we've got a small injury to Joe Worrell, but I think he's going to be okay uh, for this one. Now, if we go and have a quick look, uh, a bit of better news for us is that West Ham at home only managed a draw off of Newcastle. Uh, Sheffield United and Watford drew as well. So that means that with a game in hand, this game against Southampton, we are still with our heads above water, um, though only one point separates the, you know, I mean, Newcastle look doomed, uh, but one point between ourselves, Watford and West Ham. So a win here would be absolutely massive if we could get it. But, um, yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? This is what we're doing. We're expecting a 4-3-3, uh, uh, I guess you'd call it. Uh, they are a Brendan Rodgers coach side. So you don't really get to see who coaches the teams, do we, uh, from this screen anymore. But uh, this is the, this is the team that we're sending out. And, well, let's hope that it's uh, it's going to get the job done for us. So Dawson continues in goal. Worrell should be okay. I also is going to partner him in defense. Matheson comes back into play down the right. Colcott comes into play as a defensive midfielder for us. He's not the best tackler, but we're not getting anything out of Tonelli in that position, so we need to try something different. Adam Reach is going to come on and play down that uh, left-hand side. Obviously, Penny is unavailable with his injury, and Taylor just hasn't quite been able to do it. So we'll start Reach. If we find ourselves in front and we need a defensive player there, we've got Taylor on the bench to bring him on. Tonelli will move him forward as a deep-lying playmaker. Look at how good he is. We need him. We need him to do well for us. Uh, Bo Saeed will continue next to him. Hannibal, we're going to try with the Trey Cortista. Just get him up there doing his own thing, not worrying about defense and see how he does. Patterson and Shanklin will continue up top. I don't know why, um, but there they go. Okay, so we can see the lineups there. I mean, every team just looks a little bit better than us, don't they? And there's probably a reason for that, to be honest. But here we go. Uh, let's show this world what the team is all about, shall we? I do I do think I like that. Can we pump our fists and say that? Um, we need to win this game, don't we? I mean, as things stand, we've got our heads above water. But at some point, we're going to have to win a game. Now, while we're waiting for this game to get underway, a couple of uh, messages. There's not going to be an episode tomorrow for Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do an episode uh, for tomorrow, but we'll be back Monday as normal. And also, we are looking for uh, a nominations list for Viewers Player of the Year. So whoever you think has been our best player or your favorite player this season, let me know in the comments or via the Discord or however you want to do it. Link to the Discord in the description if you're not already a part of that. Uh, and we'll start to get that nominations list ready to be voted upon. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, uh, well, this is huge now, isn't it? We've done a little bit of work in training during the week, mostly on attacking football. Um, I mean, defensively, we're not the worst. We're not great by any means. But if you're looking at our team and you're saying, where's the problem? I mean, it's scoring goals, isn't it? And we're seeing the same sort of thing here again, it looks like. We've got a highlight here, though. Can we win that? Patterson's there. He does bring it down, but he loses out to Redmond instantly. And is this going to be a Southampton highlight? Ball forward. Can we get to that? We can. Reach down to Shanklin. Shanklin, can he turn into space? He can. Tanali is with him. Tanali is there. Can Tanali pick a pass? Back post. It's a good one for Bo Saeed. Oh! <laughs> a really good move, though. We've got a corner. Can we make this count? Ball in. It's over everybody. Patterson, is he going to get to that? No, he's not. And are we going to get down on the break? That seems to be the way our season's going, doesn't it? Patterson brings him down. Is that going to be a booking? Possibly. Uh, no, it looks like he got away with it. All right, can we win that? Reach is there. Okay, come on, Reachy. He got us into the Premier League single-handedly. Can he keep us there as well? Colcott with a ball for Reach. Reach, wonderful ball for Shanklin. Oh, he's hit the friggin' post again. Check the ball for a magnet. This is ridiculous. 
How many times can you hit the post without finding the back of the net? I cannot believe how this, what's happening this season. It is ridiculous. It's officially ridiculous. Reach, get a block in there, mate, for me. Come on. Don't give away a penalty. Don't give away a penalty. Oh, for friggin' hell. No, we've just about got away with it. Iorfa has it. He gets it forward to nobody. Come on, boys. Come on. I mean, we're not a good side. There's no there's no sugarcoating that. We're really not a great side. But we've not had any luck at all. We've hit the woodwork so many times. At least once or twice a game, honestly. It is, it is ridiculous. It's getting to the point where if you don't laugh, you're just going to cry. Uh, so nil, nil at the break, despite hitting the woodwork twice. And XG saying we should be behind. Um, do we go with the fans? Maybe we do. Let's go with the fans. Let's get out there, boys. Please, Jesus, keep a clean sheet at a minimum and just find the back of the net once. I mean, it sounds so easy, doesn't it? What do we got here? We've got a free kick, do we? Tenali to stand over it. Come on. You're supposed to be the new Pirlo. Let's see, let's see why. Tenali goes for goal over the bar and he continues to look a little bit of a waste of 18 million pounds, doesn't he? Come on. Though I've got to say, we are getting a little bit more out of him playing him that little bit further up the pitch, aren't we? Which is which is something that we'll obviously have to look to continue to do now. Um, Colcutt's looking nervous uh, in midfield there. Um, all right, let's go with let's go with the two big guys up front. Shanklin is not having the greatest season we've ever seen from a footballer. Um, now I'm wondering we. Who is the better advanced forward? It's Tete, because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that Patterson is essentially useless as an advanced forward. Um, yeah, he's just a target man. So let's go that. I wonder if we go pressing forward. Pressing forward, advanced forward. Let's try it, see what happens. Put a bit of pressure on their back line. Um... Hannibal's not having a great... Do we play Marcondes up there? Let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. Um, let's go you as an advanced uh, attacking playmaker. And... Yeah, just see. I mean, it doesn't... I don't like taking Hannibal off, but he's not done too much up there. We've defended that corner. Here we go with Marcondes. Can he combine with Tete? They did it in the FA Cup to score a goal. Can they do it in the league? Here we go, Tete, please, please, Tete, please, Tete. Not the best angle. Goalkeeper makes the save. And we'll have a corner. Tenali to take it. Tete's up there. He's strong in the air. It goes beyond him. Bo Sayid should pick that up. And with 10 minutes to play, I mean, I'm terrified of conceding a goal, but we really do need to score, don't we? Dawson with a goal kick. He goes short to Ayorfa. Iorfa looks to get it forward. It's to nobody. Bosayi picks it up, though. He will find Patterson. Patterson, can he get past his man? He's got two on him. He goes back for Matheson. Please, boys, do something. There's a decent pass. Is Mark Condes on side? It doesn't matter because he smashed it over the bar anyway. Um. Oh, it's going to be another nil-nil. What have we got to do to win a game? I mean, we've defended well. You get the feeling that maybe we're starting to stumble across something that resembles our best team. <laughs> and it's only taken to mid-March. But, I mean, again, we've been out XG'd. We've been outshot terribly. But we've also hit the woodwork twice. Unlucky, boys, today. That was unlucky. So, Sheffield Wednesday, lucky to draw. Were we, though? I mean, yeah. Patterson vows to... I mean, all our strikers are on goal droughts. That's not particularly good, is it? Um... But we're without a win in 11. Yeah, and if we look at the league table, I mean, we continue to keep our head above water. But only just. I mean, we've lost 14 games. I mean, there's teams that are mid-table that have lost 14 games. The problem, of course, is that we've drawn 12 and only we've only won four games all year. Um, and that therein lies the problem, doesn't it? But as I said, still have our head above water. We At some point, we're going to need to win some games. Um... But I'm not quite sure when that point arrives. But we've scored a goal this episode, so that's a nice little bonus. 
<laughs> don't do that too often. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back next time. I'll be honest, I don't think we're going to get too much from Tottenham away, Man City at home. So we'll come back for Sheffield United away. That is the biggest derby in a long, long time. We really do need to take something from that. And then we'll host Everton, who are sixth. Um, the only positives that we have, I think, is if you look at our last three games, Burnley away, who are 14th. Then we host Newcastle, who are at that point probably relegated. And we host Leeds, who we've already beaten this year, uh, who are down in this, or getting sucked into this relegation battle. So as long as we can stay close, there is a little bit of hope at the end of the tunnel. But if we can get through Spurs and City and... Just still, if we're ahead above water, that would be a massive bonus. Then we can have a run at the end of the year. Villa away, of course, is going to be tough because they are a very good team this season. Um, but there we go. That's all for next time, guys. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. As I said, have a very, very Merry Christmas. Don't forget to leave me your nominations for Viewers Player of the Year. And I'll see you next episode as we continue to, uh, well, just try and get a green dot somewhere. Take care.